What a nightmare. Taylor Swift's alleged stalker Julius Alexander Sandrock was arrested on Saturday and taken into custody for felony stalking, according to the Beverly Hills Police Department. But what's even scarier is that, Julius allegedly tried to break into Taylor's California home wearing a mask and rubber gloves all while carrying a knife, live ammunition, and black rope. Luckily, Taylor was not home at the time of the incident. Phew. Shockingly, Julius was released on April 17 after being held on $150,000 bail. However, the Beverly Hills PD filed a temporary restraining order, and an emergency protective order against Julius after finding a series of alarming items in his vehicle, according to court documents obtained by the blast. Officers found the following items respondent's car when he was arrested. An empty gun holster, live rounds of ammunition, latex gloves, black gloves, a knife, multiple masks similar to ones paint to use, a black half-face mask, one 9mm ammunition round, an empty .22 caliber ammunition box, black rope. Officers also found prescription medications and psychologist paperwork. The documents read. This is just awful. Unfortunately, this isn't Julius' first criminal offense. He was arrested and charged with several crimes involving a weapon, according to court records in Colorado. The charges reportedly stem from a 2017 arrest including felony menacing with a deadly weapon, prohibited use of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. He pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and was placed on probation for two years on January. Two and sadly, this isn't the first time T. Swift has dealt with a stalker. On April 10, a man was arrested for walking around her home, according to the Daily Mail. We can't imagine how terrifying this is for Taylor, but we're thankful she's okay.